Hello and a very warm welcome to the reading for the week ahead beginning Monday the 5th of December 2022 and my name is Julie Sharm. This week we have a full moon in Gemini on Thursday the 8th of December, a full moon of two halves, the Gemini twins, the yin and yang of life. As we are now in the last month of the year, it is time to reflect and look back on the journey of 2022. The full moon, a time of completion and reflection. But have the last 11 months just been the same? You're still repeating the same cycle of victim, of being exactly the same place as you were in January and February, constantly giving excuses as to why you're not going for your dreams, as to why you're not doing anything to move yourself on from this life of trudging through elephant manure, still using the same excuse, I don't have the money, I don't have the time, I will do this tomorrow, one day, when the time is right, and then moan about not living the life of your dream, of not having your dream car, your dream job, your dream home, the dream of financial freedom. Have you been sitting still and not going for your dreams and telling yourself reasons as to why not? Or have you acted on your dreams and taken those steps, telling yourself the reasons why you should go for those dreams? Maybe this month you can look back and go, wow, look what I have achieved. Look what I have done. I have gone from a life of elephant manure, always complaining about my lack with excuses. Instead, I have gone from my dreams. I have actioned something about changing myself from my lack of money to a life of financial freedom. I have actioned my dead end job, which I hated, to moving into a job I now love, which has endless opportunities for me to grow. I have actioned my relationships with myself and those around me and raised the vibration. I have actioned rather than stagnated. Life is all about two halves, doing or staying stagnated, or speaking and thinking, or action. This full moon is here for you to reflect back. The full moon is about climax, fulfilment and completion. The time of releasing and letting go, the end of something and now preparing for something amazing and brand new. When you look back to the beginning of this year, to where you are now, what can you reflect upon? What can you release? What can you embrace? What have you learned? Has it been a year of stagnation and moaning and excuses? Or has it been a year of action? With this being Gemini, you have two paths you can go down. A life of action or a life of stagnation? Which path are you going to go down for the rest of December and into 2023? Do you have a dream and you wish to action it? And are you now telling yourself the reasons as to why you should be going for your dream? Then start that journey of your dreams by attending my masterclass, Dream It, Believe It, Achieve It. And let's start you on your journey out of that elephant manure and excuses and into a life that you are truly worthy of. A life of abundance, joy, peace and happiness. Now let us see what the message the cards have for us for this week. The deck I am using is the Elemental Fairy Affirmation Cards by myself, Julie Sean. So as we're sitting here connecting to Mother Earth and Father Spirit and calling in Earth, Air, Fire, Water, Spirit. We're asking the spirit guides, our angels and the fairies to step near and to share their knowledge, wisdom and insight and to speak to us through these cards. So we have a card. And actually this week we're only being drawn to three cards. We have Air water and fire. The first card is all about air and our thinking. We're thinking this, I'm thinking that. I am the wind, free flowing and open to spirit. Yes, you are free. You're free to think what you want. You're free to do, yes, 
I can think this or I can let it go. I can think this or I can action. You're free to be going with the wind. Where does the wind go? North, south, east, west. Where do you want to go? Where do you want your thoughts to take you? Do you want your thoughts to take you to a place of staying still or your thoughts to take you to a place of action and achievement? Where are your thoughts going to take you? Our next card is water. Kindness is free and flows freely through me. Are you being kind to yourself as well as to kindness to other people? Yes, it's fine to be kind towards others, but sometimes we forget to be kind to ourselves by constantly putting ourselves down, constantly leaving a life that we think we should or shouldn't be doing. I shouldn't do this because it may upset so-and-so. I should be doing this because that's what I'm expected of me. But is that being kind to yourself? Are you kind to yourself as well as to others? Because kindness flows through you to others and their kindness, are they kind to you? Are they speaking kind thoughts to you? Are they speaking kind words of encouragement? Or are they speaking words of discouragement? Oh, I wouldn't do that. If I were you, we were not to do this. That's not kindness to you. It's them controlling you and taking their power from you. Remember, you are free. You can free to do what you want and say, as long as it's legal and doesn't hurt yourself or others. But let the kindness flow. Are you always kind and doing things for people, but they're not doing it back to you? Maybe it's time to stop that flow to that person and start flowing to your kindness to others. But the fire, we talked about thinking. I feel the energy within me. I'm active and alive. When you feel what should be you, your true life, your true passion, you're thinking, I want to go for this dream. I want this life of abundance. I want this home. I want this job. I want that. You're thinking it is true in your heart. The freedom, the kindness. Yes, I'm being kind to myself by kind, by going for my dreams, regardless of what other people are saying, because then you are active and alive within yourself. I feel the energy within me. Yes, the energy of enough of this rubbish, enough of this lack, this energy that, yes, I am worthy of this. I've got the fire. I am going for my dream. I'm going for that job promotion. I'm going to move from this place to this place. I'm going from this relationship to that relationship. I'm going from a place of lack to a place of abundance. Yes, you may think it. You are just worthy of it. And this week with the full moon, it's time to go, you know what? No more. No more. I've got the freedom to think. No more. Why am I doing this? Why is it always happening to me? Maybe it's time to go, you know what? I'm going to think positive. Because when I think positive for myself and raise myself up, I'm being kind to myself. And when you're being kind to yourself, you are listen to your heart. And when you're kind to yourself and going, yeah, I am worthy in my dreams, you then become active and alive because you're alive because you go, yes, I'm going to go for this dream and I'm going to act on it. This full moon, you will feel the effect of the day before, the day of and the day after. It's a time of reflection and going, you know what? Enough. I've done enough thinking. It's time to be kind and it's time to act. I do hope you've enjoyed this reading. If you have, don't forget to press like, share and subscribe. If you're looking for a full in-depth reading for 2023, contact me. How to contact me are in the comments below. Have an absolutely amazing week. Take care. Namaste. Bye.